Well, Oregon Donkey Sanctuary Northwest has dedicated more than a decade to rescuing neglected or abused donkeys in our area. Corey Harlan joins us live this morning from the farm in Oregon City with uh, more on their mission. And uh, Corey, you always get along well with our animal friends there, so I'm sure you made some new friends this morning. Well, it, it takes an ass to get along well with an ass. That's what they say out here at the donkey farm, out here at the Oregon uh, Donkey Sanctuary. Here this is Dave. The donkey, who's just sweet as peaches. Look at him. He just kind of wants to, I don't know what he really wants to do, but uh, he's, he's doing whatever he wants to do. He's just kind of chilling out a little bit. This is Jim here at the Oregon uh, Donkey Sanctuary. And boy, this is really neat. This is a lot of fun. These guys are, are just so tame. I'm just really, because a lot of them have come from neglected and, and abusive situations, I would expect them to be kind of skittish, but they're pretty cool. They are initially. This is my wife Rhonda, uh -huh. and uh, we started Sorry this about that, Oregon Donkey Sanctuary about a year ago. We've been doing donkeys for over 12 years. Uh -huh. uh, initially, we started out as a foster facility for Peaceful Valley Donkey Rescue. They're the largest in the country, and that's how we got to know donkeys. And uh, my wife grew up with horses, and once we started doing donkeys, she's like, "Well, these are not horses with long ears. They're very different. <laughs> you can see they're." Pretty affectionate animals. They really are. Um, Who's this guy again? This is Toby. Toby. Uh, he's only about six years old. Uh, uh, and where do they come from typically now? Uh, they, uh, how, how do you get them? Well, well now, you know, a lot of these guys came from um, rescue situations. Dave and his friend Huey came from an abuse situation up in Washington. Uh, some of the others come from um, just various areas. People, people looking to surrender dogs. People donkeys. can't afford to keep well, them. Well, that or, and or donkeys can live to be over 40 years old. They can. So a lot of times people just say, I'm too old to take care of my donkey, and he's still, you know, uh -huh. still doing well. He's still got life to live. So we're full here at the sanctuary with 21 donkeys, but we network with a lot of rescues, and uh -huh. we rehome donkeys that are looking for homes. Um, now, for rehoming, on the rehoming topic here, where, where would you rehome these? These seem to be great animals for kids, for, for families. They can make a like great that, mount right? for children. Um, they're just great to be around. They're like a big dog. <laughs> and uh -huh. they just love they attention, yeah, right. and they like to have their butt scratched, obviously. <laughs> um, but yes, they're pretty amazing. They can be used for pack animals. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. and, and again, we're trying to branch off into using them as therapy animals uh -huh. because of their demeanor and their engagement with people. Um, they really seem to make a connection a lot of times with folks that, uh, that need maybe a little bit of a helping hand uh -huh. or just need a, a calm place to hang out. I've never seen anybody gravitate to Carl so much in all my life as Dave. Well, Dave. We, we put carrots in his pocket earlier <laughs> without him knowing it. So, well, Dave is just—he's uh, just awesome. So, uh, bottom line is, you'll take him in, shelter him, and then kind of the idea is to maybe turn him out to to a, a more of a helpful, yes, proper situation. Exactly. To live in, we right? rehab rehabbed all these guys. Now, like everyone that's here now is permanently on sanctuary because uh -huh. a lot of these guys that do have health uh, issues uh -huh. or not really behavioral issues, but a lot of them are really good and we do want to use them for therapy uh -huh. uh, eventually because we're finding that they are very engaged with people and they kind of pick up on how you're feeling sometimes too. So we, we see that as a very big positive uh, for using them to, to help folks. I just love this. This is really cool. And, and look at that, Carl, look at those guys. Now that is a form of, uh, that's a real bromance over there, right. I understand, right? Now what are they, they're doing simultaneous grooming, it yes, looks like you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You scratch you know, that's my pretty back. common with equines and donkeys. Those guys have got a very strong bond. Donkeys can sometimes bond so strongly that if one dies, the other one will quit eating as well. Wow. So, wow. It's, uh, but yeah, they, they're very loyal animals. They'll walk through fire with you once you get their trust. But it does take some time because they, they get their stubborn reputation because they have such an amazing sense of self-preservation. <laughs> uh, they have to make sure it's safe before they right, do anything. Right. And, and you have to be patient. We call it donkey time here. Uh, there and, you go. Um, All right. So these guys, like I said, they teach us a lot of things as well. And well, this is, it really this slows is, us down and kind of gives us uh, a... Kind of chill out a little bit Absolutely. with the donkeys. From the Oregon Donkey Sanctuary this morning, we're in the shadow, probably in the shadow of Clackamas Community College out here off of mm -hmm. uh, Beaver Creek Road, not too far. And this is where Dave lives, right there. Dave's Carl's new best friend here. So he just, <laughs> he's been standing there the whole segment. He won't stand, he won't move out from in front of Carl. That is so funny.
I, I kind of want a pet donkey now. Oh, yeah. 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 So so yeah. Super relaxed. Oh That's hysterical. Really yeah. cute. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I, I feel like a lot of people are probably moving on donkey time on a Monday morning, you know? Oh, <laughs> no doubt about it. 